the canoe. I got to Okay, happy Thanksgiving, fam. It is uh, Thursday, November 24th, and uh, we are back here in South Africa. Uh, the time right now is 7.52. We are at George International Airport, right outside of uh, Plattenberg Bay. And we are headed to Johannesburg, uh, connecting there, and final destination is Kruger. So, uh, flight time is about two hours. Weather looks great, as you can see. Small enough airport here, but uh, we are flying an Airbus 320, so it's a pretty cool ride today. And then we'll update uh, what our plane looks but like as we get closer. Okay, coming outside, uh, this is a first. It's an A320 that we're going to be hitting today. Oh. Half to uh, this way, left, left, left. Pretty, that's a small room. Yeah. We're right here, everyone is in. About a two hour flight time to Joburg. You're going to have to lift your uh, bag up, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Put your, put your thing down. There you go. Push it down. There you go. Wow. right now just checked into Johannesburg Airport and we are just checked into Airlink which is going to Kruger um, boarding in about one hour so if you can see pretty uh, high-tech airport here in Johannesburg We've got a few families that have uh, all checked in uh, the flight time is about 58 minutes from what we have heard today from gate to gate so pretty cool airport
Can take a picture? Yeah. The time is approximately 32 minutes and we just landed here at Kruger National Park um, Airport and uh, just got off our plane, took a few pictures and I'm going to show you what this airport really looks like. Check it out. This is the whole terminal here. The entire terminal. That's it folks. You got your check-in. Skyhaven Business Lounge, Concierge, and your gift shop. That's it. That is your entire life. Okay. So look, this has been two two weeks leading up to this point right now. Um, I'm super excited. It looks like the kids are excited and everyone's excited about this whole process here. Let me show you. He's like six, seven. This is after two weeks of travel, finally oh, at the end of game. I am so excited for this. Wednesday. Yeah. Hey, Forget about them. How, how are you guys? Yeah, yeah, that's that's hello, Chris. How are you? Nice to meet you. Homemade lemonade. Yes. How are you, my friend? Homemade lemonade. Look at the other things. I don't know, man. My stomach like that. My friend, how are you? I'm so low. How are you feeling? I'm good. I feel a little better today. Well, this is yeah. terrible earlier, but. I don't know why, just like right when I got here, I'm like, oh, I'm picking here. Hopefully the heat will help. Sienna, please meeting you. Winston is me. Winston is me. Hey, I'm Bobbin. Bobbin. Yes. Please meeting you. My Likewise, friend. John. Very nice to meet you. Please meeting you guys. Yeah. Here Thank you. Thank what you is for this? having us. My pleasure. This is homemade lemonade. Lemonade? Yes. Oh, it smells great. Thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Huh? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna put my bag down. Just temporarily here. Okay, I want to let you know where you can start to decide because here they're preparing for dinner. Oh, okay. So go other side, guys. Yeah, here we're preparing for you. Oh, okay, very nice. Follow on the other side. There's a pool to nice. Oh, yeah. okay. well, after nearly, gosh, I don't know, maybe a seven hour journey, it feels like all day traveling, waking up at uh, 3.45 to be on a bus at 5.15 to George Airport with a transfer or connecting flight into Johannesburg uh, with a two hour layover there and then a quick 42 minute flight from Johannesburg to Kruger National Park Airport and ready for this here we go this is what we have folks check it out okay. Okay, we are actually just getting ready for our, our first safari. Here, look at that. There's Anita. Mama using my hat, of course, but that's okay. Safari hats on. Yeah, that's right. Safari hats are on, and here we go. So, how close do uh, the big five get to the camp here? Oh, they can come in. Yeah. yeah. Elephants go wide to the elephants out. They do the most destruction to the Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, if you go like a yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
that's what I was told to. I have, that's why I keep it to 300 because. Yes, you can wear it. That's okay. He's the, he's the first person. Saying that there was over what is it, 1.7 million acres. Oh, uh, 3 million acres. Oh, 3 million acres. It was 1.7 1.5 million hectares. Okay. That's right. There's about wow. 2.2 acres to a hectare. Gotcha. That's awesome. So, what, is the, what do you think we may see right now? It yeah, depends on what God wants to bring out of the bushes for us. Yeah. Every, every way we say it is like every sighting is uniquely tailored to you because the animal will never behave the same ever again. Yeah. So, whatever comes out, okay, so split. You do. If it is there, we should be we yeah. see. Is there any special interest on the vehicle? Anybody interested in bird, plant, flowers, anything special? Today is we are out here, we are we are all yours. So we are all you about the big five. Yeah. Big five it is. We're gonna give these guys a bit of space so we don't have dust on in our face, you know. Now if you ever start smelling something, it smells like stinky beet. The silver clustering. Their flowers are blooming at the moment, and that is their spores that we are smelling. It's a pheromone that they're giving us. Oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. I find it quite <coughs> This is the Boma dinner area. So, one night, usually, we have a Boma dinner where we'll have like a barbecue, salad bar, open cash bar, and we all sit under the stars and have, have dinner. Are we doing that? Right. And uh, how many visitors come? <coughs> how many visitors? Well, in our lodge, we have 12 rooms, which means we can host. No, but I mean people. visitors as in uh, our year? friendly friends that oh. we're going to try to find right now. And a happy Thanksgiving live from Kruger National Park. We have the uh, X Factor here. This is live from Kruger National Park, which these guys these guys are always scared to be on. You're only being broadcasted to about 20 million people globally. Where were we yesterday? Anyways, we got to see some cats and they were feeding. It amazes me. I mean, you see how much lights there? Right. You put you put this phone like up to that. You can still get an incredible amount of light. Well, I'm just like looking on the GoPro, right? Just the way it's just the light. Yeah. It's a lot of light.
switched on my lights and there was a leopard bat <laughs> yeah. one time I stopped and I'd like to do this because it's nice for people to use the senses like feel the silence and hear the nature and, and, and what's happening it's crazy right down and like flatten the grass leopards do that as well they'll sort of flatten the grass and try and wait for us to leave from the place we just came from in near Plittenberg all kinds of monkeys in the Crazy. In the woods, yeah, and you just walk by, and all of a sudden you hear all the rustling, and you'd be like, yeah. 
nothing. Mm -hmm. I can't see anything now. It could be that he's it just ran off. It could be a small antelope species that just went whack into the bushes, ran away. That happens too. And then you don't realize until it's gone that you heard it. Okay, so. <coughs>
breakfast time. Yep. Yeah, a little more forward. Oh no, that's good. Thanks, okay. Commander. Yeah, maybe a little more forward. Can't do it. Looks like he just woke up. He looks like he just woke up. Look at his eyes. <coughs> okay. Yeah, one tusk is shorter than the other. Yeah. It means that this elephant is left handed. Oh. He oh. uses his left tusk the most. The lefty. So he's worn his tusk down completely. Find that I'm big, I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm and I'm going to go for you. And I'm going to probably walk in the road. Now he's behind me. I can't to get him. Okay, I'm going to Okay, cool, no worries. I've got him a door that he had to see. They'll scratch themselves on the side of your vehicle from time to time. Mm -hmm. They're like big dogs. They're amazing. Amazing, <laughs> yeah. That's sad though that he has to be threatened. Yeah, it's because when the general public drive here, they think it's a big cow. So mm -hmm. then they honk the horn or they rev the engine and scare them. It makes these guys look. <laughs> typically eating on? Oh, they eat grass. More than mainly grass, right? Yeah, they hang up the mentors like elephants. Yeah. So they eat mostly this dry grass. They bulk graze it, so they'll, they'll eat a whole bunch of stuff. They eat a lot. 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 So, I want to get like nose to nose. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, they're usually very short. <laughs> they don't normally run away. Oh, These guys are having a little fight session. Fighting or playing? Yeah, if they get too close, then they don't like it. They, they, they normally try to step away. Do you know, anyone know how to tell the difference between male and female? Sure. The stripes or the hair? Is it that dark? Or? So that grey patch there that you see, it's, a, it's indicative of the bushel, of the bushel zebra. It's the only zebra to have those phantom stripes, we call them. It's also the only zebra to have stripes all the way down to their feet. 
So when you look at the bum and you look at the backside, you know the tail wags out of the way, okay. you'll see there's a black stripe between the two legs. Yeah. Yeah. If it is just a very thin stripe, looks like it's wearing a G-string, yeah. it's a male. A female will have a wider stripe, where obviously there's maybe bits in there. Mm. It'll be a V like that. Oh. So I'll show you. This is a male here. I can kind of see the penile sheath between his legs from here, but that's another way of looking. But because it's between the legs, you can't always tell. That's a female. Look at that V. Yeah. See how wide it is. Ah, uh, okay. No. No, it's a <laughs> Look at me, dude. I'm taking a picture. Uh, yes, thank you. Smile. I'll take that. Thank you. So this will be your dominant male. Yeah. How do you know that? It's separate. Okay. Separate. So he's looking behind everyone. <coughs> making sure no predators are coming in to chase his girlfriend around. No one's going to eat his babies. This is his herd. These are his children. Oh, you're turning now, Bob. It's so cool when a zebra looks at you with the, with the symmetric stripes. Right. right on. Just keep making sure you're not going to mess with his ladies. Yeah, I hit on one of the girls. Do you Ooh. see the scars on his... Yeah, Look that's that from uh, fighting, right? They fight with each other. <laughs> Look on the back. <laughs> so it's actually good. Interesting, the stripes are not black, they're just this dark shade of brown. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see how the mane is always standing up straight? Mm -hmm. If the mane ever falls flat, it means that the zebra is mortally ill. Oh, wow. Very sick. If that's that main force black. Split open like that. Yeah. And the, the top will actually be bald. <laughs> the young yeah. male. You can also see the penile sheath on his belly. See a little. Yeah. Like that, yeah. Sorry, are you looking? You're so cool. Maybe they can get together for a picture. Yeah. This way, big boy. Alright, the profile's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't like my front side. I like how old? Side. How old do you think that guy is? He's not even a teenager. Oh, so you can turn yeah. sideways, right? He's just He's barely young. becoming a teenager. Oh, thank you. Still young, very young. Still too young to mate. The big male will chase him off. Hold on. Look at how all the zebras are working. Down. Yeah, I see his head sticking out as well. Cheetah. Yeah. Cheetah, yeah, we're going to have to come forward a little bit.
Yeah, yeah I, I don't think we can. We'll see those after. Yeah. <laughs> so you see this bush? Yeah. Past it. To yeah, the right, we have a you tree see a little bit of yellow sticking out the ground. Yeah. No, but it's right there. It's that tree, and then right there. Right. <coughs> so, yeah. It's very How? difficult to see. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. When we say snap, just. Like the tree was in my way. Exactly. I couldn't see it. You're going to delete it. You can see the heads. Okay. I'm not screwing up these last Uh, on the settings, I can't, it won't go that far. It's, it not, it's not as powerful as the lens. <coughs> Putting this white just in case he does take off, starts running. Yeah. You know, he knows something's around here, right? People, people watching. Right? Yeah, people stopping like. <coughs> He's eating something. Are you looking through the camera? <coughs> we explained the route before we left. Like now it's like fiesta stop. time. <coughs> you know that hippos cannot swim. Oh really? They, they, they can support themselves on the bottom. So they'll st either stand on their hind legs when it's really deep and stick their nose out the top. Um, or they will be standing or lying down on the on the on the base of the so that means the water is not <coughs> it's not, it's not terribly too deep, deep no. yeah um so they're neutrally quite buoyant so that even if it's super deep they yeah. can go right down to the bottom and then push up and then take a breath then sink back down again so this when one's trucking is that one walking then <laughs> yeah, yeah it's walking along the bottom yeah well, so it's not swimming interesting nope. i always thought they were swimming got, their, their feet are like ours they've got fingers yeah oh. they don't have webbed feet Uh, 
They want to ha experience their environment without all of that extra. So he's going to walk away from us. Yeah. He's going to lie down. Oh. This is amazing. Uh, I want to call you to you. Mom. 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 No, he's just he's putting on a show, dude. Yeah. Two others, right? The females. Jay, you said the females. The what's that? Yeah, there's two others that yeah, they Yeah, they say the one other one is a, must be a male because they will be together. Oh, there's another male. What That's what she said. That's a big boy. He's old, huh? Big boy. Look at his hair. Or <laughs> he's still quite young. He's, with the herd. he's still quite young. When they get really old, they actually stop traveling with the herd. They do? Mm. They just go find a nice puddle of water.
under your balcony? Babe, I didn't wear the short.
actually have to. Scuff marks. This is a, literally a zebra fist fight that happened here. Oh. They bite each other's ankles, and when they bite the ankle, they lift the foot. So they're like, "Don't bite me! No, don't bite me!" And they try and bite each other. That's and how they, they push fight. each other in the road. 
And that's why you have all these push marks, how they're pushing each other around, they're slamming each other into the floor, kicking each other's backsides, really? biting on the face, biting the ears. And if they can, if they get hold of the tail, they will bite the other one's tail off. Off. Oh. No, have you seen a fight like that? Yeah. Oh, that's it's nice. rough. And they squeal. Like, they squeal. Oh. When they get bitten, it's terrible. I'd squeal too. <laughs> <laughs> and they do one, that over, I've like, females? The... Is that over dominance over... Duh. Like, dominance like a... over each other initially as well. Uh -huh. uh, and then the most dominant one gets the, the girls. The females, yeah. yeah. And I've even seen them pull the cheek muscle straight out of each other. Wow. The one guy lost the whole cheek muscle. All for a lady. Yeah. Wow. Yeah.
they wash away the side, just feed back, shoot back again to the river. I'm hearing Ungu Tutu, bruh. Right? <laughs> Very loud and uh the ball coming out in the field now on the left. That is a herd right there. Daddy! You trying to get through, Cam? Huh? No. Trying to get through? Okay. I don't always drink Amarula, but when I do. <laughs> I don't always drink Amarula, but when I do, I only drink the best. <laughs> what a great observation spot. It is. Alright, let me get a perspective. Awesome.
It is uh, a little after 3 p.m. We are going on our last final excursion here at Ruger National Park. A little off-roading right now, but it uh, should be quite a fun ride today. So we are going to try and catch our last glimpse of which I really want to see today. We want to see what today, but I want to see some leopards terrorize another animal today so we can get some gruesome video of, of what they're eating so sit back relax and uh, check out the ride today or what? I'm, I'm feeling a feast. Well we saw that uh, rabbit get feasted on but uh, hopefully it's something bigger. I'm feeling good positive energy like I did that first one. You want to see elephants feasting on branches? Oh, we saw that. Oh, Elephants don't feast on other mammals. You want an elephant to get feasted on. You want a leopard to eat an animal? Or like which animal? An elephant. Okay, let's see what happens. So they like to just lay there and be lazy. Yeah, they're not magic, so they'll do quite a few kilometers in the day. They'll turn around and go the other way. They don't stay on the premises. Are we number two or number three? Yeah, they kind of go just walk the train and truck. come back. Is there someone behind us? <laughs> We're number two, that's right, you are right. You are. <laughs> I think we might have something here. Yeah, Sienna is not in our car. No, we don't have to. Okay, okay so it looks Sienna like we're missing, uh, we're missing a young adult. That would be a teenager. That would be age 15. That would be a Which Cuevas. Can, so, uh, if anybody out there sees Sienna, please let us know. Okay, it looks like she was found. That's great. Right. Cuevas. Okay, hey, missing person has been uh, deactivated. She's very quiet, so.
Are you a drum beat? We want to be here when it gets here. Are you afraid being up there? Do you want to come back? Do you?
going to have that move. You better now, walk out. You better walk Your over move like is that. now my move. <laughs> Thank you. Huh? You walk over doing that same step. Oh, I can't duplicate that. If also, it, it's low blue. If it happens that you don't like the blue, please let us know so we can. Uh... Anyways. Oh, what is it? Look at the one sitting on the rock over here on the side, just chilling. What? Oh, my new picture. I'm sorry. Right now in our uh, backyard here. So good. That is a thing, right? Amanda in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little old couple sitting on the right. Oh, table. they are so cute. Oh, the young couple, but they're like they're just like watching it all. And those babies. Uh oh. 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 Whoa. Oh my. Okay. Yeah.